tell everybody uh, what happened that fateful day. Well, I was living a really beautiful life, you know, married to Bill and so happy and in love. And we were only married about five years and I was pregnant with Anna. We already had a little two-year-old, Natalie. And I went to the hospital, it was pretty routine. And I asked for the epidural because I was in pain. And the doctor had me sort of lean over and she administered the epidural and immediately I had like a, a shocking, like, like an electrical shock that went down both my legs. Like I was hunched over the table, it lifted me up and my legs were burning. They were screaming on fire and I said, oh, something's wrong, something's not right. By the next day, I had lost sensation in my legs. Mm -hmm. So instead of getting better like you would after an epidural, I was like touching my thighs, not feeling anything. The neurologist came in and they like did a little test and they said, they looked at each other actually and left the room. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. You know, Annette, um, I, w I want you to tell everybody about the book and then I want to tell everybody <laughs> my thoughts about it. Well, it's called Where Fairy Tales Go. Where Fairy Tales Go. Yeah, I think because I sort of, my life felt a little bit like a fairy tale for a little while. Um, and I wrote it because it was cathartic for me to write it, actually, and also because I thought I'm not the only one who feels like a whack-a-mole has gotten whacked too many times. A lot of people do, and they can, I can share that, and that can comfort them. Like it comforted me when I was in the hospital to read books like that. That's sort of why I wrote it. Um, it's about my journey, and it was, it was a hard journey. I can't say that I got to the place of strong faith again easily. It was certainly Bill. I sort of say in one of the talks that I'm giving that it was through Bill that I see God. Mm -hmm. And that's really because I felt that God was sort of eluded me for a while. I sort of felt like he abandoned me. I felt like my prayers weren't being answered. But we went on to have more children. And uh, the big one was Ingrid because they told me after I got hurt I wasn't going to have any more children. And then all of a sudden, three years into it, I'm pregnant. It was a miracle. And then I got my bladder back, which was amazing because usually you, you don't have that either. Right. Uh, um, so I could just go to the bathroom again. Then I went on to have two more kids. 